Hey there, this is James, and this is a little one-shot video in which I am going to teach you how to collaborate in Twine. Twine is not built for collaboration. It's not easy to collaborate unless you and your co-writers are sitting in the same room typing on the same computer screen. If you want to each produce a different story in Twine and then merge them together, there's no simple way to do that in the platform. But I, there is a way to do it and I'm going to show you how. Um, what I've done here is I've just made a story to merge one, a story to merge two, a story to merge three, and I'm going to practice merging with these for you, show you some of the mistakes that you might run into, that you might encounter, and how to fix them. So, first thing you need to do, uh, well actually let me just show you, let me just show you what I've done here. They're not impressive uh, passages or anything. I've written anything fancy. These are just samples, but I want you to see what the passages say so that we can recognize them in a minute. So the first passage of the story, another of the choices, the passage called six. That's in a story to merge one. And in a story to merge two, you'll notice I've got the same passage names for everything. Start, one, two, three, four, five, six. This isn't going to totally destroy the merge, but it is going to create problems, and I, and I want to show you how. But, okay, oh, to get started, what you'll need is some kind of HTML editor, a program that allows you to open up HTML files, edit them, and save them. Uh, I'm going to be using Text Wrangler by Barebone Software. You can get it this HTML here, barebones.com. Um, but it is only for Mac OS. So it works great on Mac, won't work if you're using Windows or something else. Uh, if you're using Windows, I recommend just Googling HTML editor Windows and seeing what comes up. I don't have any personal experience with this, but uh, I imagine, just like Text Wrangler, there's probably a good one that's free. It looks like there's even some that you can use online although I can't vouch for them. All you need here is something that will allow you to open files, cut and paste, and then save. That's all you need to be able to do. So I, I imagine even if some of these are free but then they have an upgrade version, uh, my guess is my guess is the, the free version should work just fine. All right, anyway, I'll be using Text Wrangler, so if you have Mac, you can follow along that way. All right, so we've got Twine. I'm gonna open the first file that I wanna merge. I'm gonna click on the name, and I'm gonna click Publish to File. That way it's gonna export an HTML file, and I'm just gonna put that on my desktop for now. And then I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna open the other story that I want to merge, story to merge two and I'm going to publish that to file on my desktop for now. You can see they came up right there. Put Twine away for a minute and then open your text editor and then open both of those files in the text editor. So I'm going to go file open and I'm going to open story to merge one. It's going to tell me that it's not formatted correctly and that's fine because it just doesn't, it doesn't understand what Twine is doing exactly. And I'm going to open again, and open story to merge two. And it doesn't understand it, but that's okay. So I've got both of my stories open. And what I want to do, I'm not going to just cut and paste this whole thing into the other one. That wouldn't work very well. Uh, what I want to do is go into story to merge number two and take just the information for the passages, the boxes and the lines and the links not anything else, just the passage data, cut it out and put it in the right place in number one. So let's look. You can see there's going to be some HTML code up here, the head, uh, the body begins here, then you've got TW story data. Twine story data begins right here and it ends down here. So in between story data, you've got individual instances of Twine passage data, 
we want to get all of those passage data sections and cut and paste them. So one funky thing is that in the story data line, we've got to go all the way out here to the end. Oh no, I actually didn't do it this time. Sometimes the first line of passage data is stuck way out at the end here somewhere. So be careful of that. In this case, it didn't do that. We've got our first passage data right here. Name, so it can gives you the name, which is start. I didn't tag it at all. It tells you the position of where it is in the, um, on the blueprint. And then it gives you the text. Here's the second part of my story starts. One, two, and it gives you the links and then end passage data. So we're gonna take, we're just gonna hit enter a couple times there. We're gonna take all this passage data all the way down to the last place where it says forward slash TW passage data. We don't want the story data link, but we want all, or the story data tag, but we want all the rest of the stuff. So all the passage data stuff, copy it, go over to merge, uh, the first file that you're going to paste it into. And then here again where it says story data, the closed story data, right before that is where we are going to paste our stuff. And we're going to save this. And if we want to change the name of the story, we're going to do file save as and change the name to something else. But we may also want to change the name here. Story to merge one is what this twine is going to recognize it as. We're going to call this story to merge zero. And I will save the file as that as well. Okay. Let's go back over to twine, to the home, import from file, choose file. And we'll open up our new file that's been mer the merged of all these of all this passage data. Story to merge zero. Let's take a look. There it is. Story to merge zero. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, all the stuff is laid on top of each other, and that's not too good. Um, but it's easy enough to sort out if you just start clicking and dragging. I'll show you an, uh, another way to clean this up in a minute. But notice that when I drag one passage away, the other passages are there, but there's no links between them. I've just got these, ooh, random boxes is, oh no, that's not good at all, right? When I move one of the twos, it seems to be connected. When I move the other two, it's connected. The game is really confused here because I've got two passages called two, and I've got links that go to them but it doesn't really know how to read what I'm doing. This is an error that shows up when you have passages that are named the same thing. So the first rule here, if you're gonna collaborate, is to have a plan before you begin so that each collaborator is naming their passages something different. Sorting out this error and making sure all the links would work in the right way would be a real pain. So you definitely want, before anybody begins writing, make sure you've got a system that ensures that nobody names any two passages the same thing. For example, you might have collaborator one who always labels their passages 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1. etc. And then collaborator number two could label all their passages 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2. And, and so on. And for each collaborator, they just get a different number to begin with. That would solve a lot of problems. Any system you want to come up with is fine, um, but if you just go into it casually and let everybody name their passages whatever they want, then you run the risk of eventually somebody accidentally naming something car and somebody else naming a passage car, and then all of a sudden the twine gets confused about what to link to which one when, right? So don't do that. I will, let's delete this. Yes, delete it forever. We'll try to merge one instead with number three, which instead of using one, two, three, four, I've used A, B, C, D, E, F, G. 
Um, instead of start, I used enter. So we shouldn't run into the, that same problem. Um, let's see, what do I want to do here? Let's get rid of these. Don't save. Let's delete all this stuff so we get fresh downloads, just in case. And then we are going to publish the file, story merge one. And we're going to go back and we are going to publish the file, story merge three. And then we'll close this for a minute. Open our text editor. Open both of the files. Tell it OK. I know they're weird. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to find the passage data for a story to merge three and paste it into a story to merge one. So here's the end of the story data right here. We don't need the story data tag. We need to find the beginning of the passage data. Usually it's close script and then the beginning of the first passage, the first data for the first passage. So we'll break that line up right there. And notice if you are, or get lost at all, you can look for the text of passages. This is where this part begins. There's a choice. Ending number one. So I know those are the things that I wrote in my passages. So I select all this. And I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come over here, right here again, where I see end of the story data. I'm going to open that up a little bit and paste my new stuff in. And then I'm going to say file, save as story to merge um, zebra. And then I'm going to just do the same thing again right up here where it says at the beginning of story data, it's got the name and the name in quotes. So inside those quotes, I'm going to change the name to story to merge zebra. Oh, I actually needed to do this part first. Otherwise, it won't have saved that way, right? So I made the change. Now I'm going to save it as. Story to merge zebra. Yes, replace the one that's already there because this is the new version. Close this. Back to twine. Import from file. Choose file. Story to merge zebra. And let's open it up. You can see I have the same problem where things are laid on top of each other. But when I start spreading them out, let's move these over here. There's no confusion about what is linked to what anymore. The lettered passages are linked to the other lettered passages, and the numbered passages are linked to other numbered passages. There are no unlinked passages that suddenly become linked when you click on something. There's two separate discrete things. So they are, you're able to kind of parse them out without any trouble. But, and that's fine, that's probably all you need to know. If you have short things like this that won't take too much work to, to separate out like that, then that's probably all you need to know. Just make sure everybody's naming things differently and then cut and paste the right stuff into the file and you should be okay. What if you've got a bunch of passages, you've both written a bunch of passages, and you don't want them to be kind of overlapped with each other like that? Well, there's a solution for that too. Let's, uh, let's go back home. Let's delete this version of it. Delete forever. We'll be back with for you, Story to Mars Zebra. Um, and then let's go to our no, nope, not the internet. Here we go. Story to Merge Zebra. We want to make some changes to you so that the passages, the numbered passages and the lettered passages are not overlapped. 
So we want to look at the first set of passages. Let's go to here. And the second set begin here. You might want to create some space between them so that it's clear where the break is, just so you can keep track of what's what. Um, the, the information we're looking for here is this, the positions. This tells you where each passage is positioned inside the blueprint. So it's at, you know, um, an x-axis and a y-axis. So 270, 219, that's the number of, I don't know if it's pixels or what, but not that many spaces over. So we want to find the one with the biggest numbers. So it looks like it's this one, 570 and 369. So let's go back to where's twine. That means like inside here, like the furthest thing over is 570, this is this, right? And that would be the equivalent of 570.369. So we want to make sure that we change the numbers of the second passage so that they're over here or way down here. And all we got to do is just type in new numbers for those passages. So let's go back here and let's just experiment with making adding 500 to the first number of all the second passages and see what happens. So we've got the first section, it's 378, so we're just going to make this an 800. And we're going to add 5 here, makes it 800. This is going to make this a 10. That's a 1. Why is that a 1? That's weird. Um, well, let's just stick with our pattern here. We're going to add 5 each time, so that becomes a 6. That becomes an 8. This becomes a 10. Uh, this becomes an 11. And that's the end. So let's save that just like that. And then we'll open the new version of Zebra to see if it worked. Choose file, import file, choose file. New version of Zebra. Open it up and looky there. It moved all these passages over here for me. There's a little bit of overlap, so I kind of goofed up a little bit. I probably should have made, instead of adding just 500, maybe I should have added 600 or something. But, oops. It's not too hard to draw a little line here and then grab the whole set. And then, if I want to see the whole story and where it's at, I can zoom out at different levels. And let's say... I want to connect passage number two to passage numbers, letter C. It's a simple thing to just go in here and go like this. And all of a sudden my stories are connected, right? Or maybe it was five that was supposed to connect to enter. So I would just go enter. And now they're connected there. So maybe this stuff was supposed to be like down here. But as long as they're separated, to begin with, it's a lot easier to start moving them around. Okay, so that's really it. Uh, when you're collaborating, you want to make sure you have a system for labeling things that makes sure that nobody's naming passages the same. And then you want to publish all your stuff to HTML files, open them in a text editor, look for all the information in between the story data tags, and then inside that, make sure you're only grabbing the TW passage data stuff. And then paste that inside at the very bottom where the story data tag closes, paste all that stuff. And then if you want to make it easy to sort out, add some number to one of these position numbers so that the, the this group is spread out from that group. And then obviously the bigger number you add here, the further it will show up in twine, further away it'll show up in twine further over. So that's it. Um, hope that helps. Happy collaborating. Um, and hopefully this will help you make even bigger, more impressive and expansive Twine universes. Thanks.